Hi everyone and welcome to Monday Night Stamping. It's uh, every Monday night I try to come to you where we can have some fun stamping together and unlock some of that stamping creativity that you've got locked away and it's ready to explode. Um, my name is Lillian Kemp and I'm coming to you from Alberta, Canada. And tonight I have a fun fold for you and I know that's a favorite for a lot of you. So uh, get ready. It's new to me. It might be new to you. It might not be. But um, likely the combination I'm using will be new to you as well. So um, I think you're going to like it a lot. It's, it's not hard and yet it has lots of wow appeal. So it's been a gorgeous day here. The sun's been shining. It's been above zero. And um, for once, we put our Christmas tree lights, our Christmas our outdoor lights, pardon me, up during a nice day. We didn't wait till it was 20 below or something like that. So got the Christmas outdoor lights up today and we're set to go. So hi everyone and while you're um while I'm going down to the desktop maybe share one thing you have done that is getting ready for Christmas. I if you're like me you haven't got a whole lot done or maybe you're someone who's got everything done. But uh, share one thing that you uh, have done or partially done for Christmas as we go down to the desktop. Okay, so we are glad that we can uh, cross putting up the outdoor lights. And now we'll need to tackle a few more things. So let me just get things set up on my computer as you're chiming in on one Christmas thing that you have you have got done or partially done. So let's go here and there we go. And I just have to share it to my group page as well so the people joining over there can also see it. And I think we're good to go. Let's see here. There we go. I'll, I'll get there. So as I'm getting there, you might be able to see these on my desk. Now these two beauties are the new catalogs. So the new mini catalog that's coming out for January to April. And yes, it's a little shorter period of time and the new celebration. Um, so hopefully you have your have given me your name that you would like these. I can only uh, supply them to people in Canada. So if you live in Canada and don't have a demonstrator, fire me off an email or a message or something that you would like them. And if you're not already on my mailing list, include your mailing address. And that would be great. If you live outside of Canada, you can go to the Stamping Up website and find a demonstrator that's near you. So there you go. I see a lot of you have done a few things. Catherine hung the wreath. Oh, well, that's something I can do tomorrow. I haven't done that yet, and that would make me feel good, right? I could then put another thing on this list. So just a few things to talk about as we're getting going. Um, so as... I was sharing this. One of the things you are going to find in this catalog is this bundle that I've been featuring and I'm actually going to use it again tonight, the framed florets bundle. Um, but what, what I'm showing you tonight, you could do with everything. So uh, uh, doesn't have to be this, this right here. Now, the, this was an early release suite of products. These have already sold out. That's how popular they were. But they're, they're great um, framed and festive. The Christmas stamp set is still available, as is the designer paper and the bundle or individually. This works so well even on its own. So just be aware of that, that that is something that's happening. And just before we get to our card, Got a little extra there. This is what we made last week, and um, Kathy Gibson's name was drawn. So Kathy will receive this card in the mail, and I do have Kathy's address. So congratulations, Kathy. And if you're new to this and you're saying, well, how come she gets that card? It's because she left a comment um, on one of my Facebook pages or my YouTube channel. And then I put all your names and draw one and Kathy's name was drawn so we'll put that to the side and 
Ooh, what should I show you? I will show you the fold. We're making a slightly different card. So we, we're going to make a card that looks like this from the front. It fits in a normal medium size envelope. So it's a normal size card. But look at this. It pops up like that. So when you open it up, it kind of goes like an accordion. My, my instructions are on the back. So there it is like that. So there... It has these pieces that will jut out. So let's let's make one of these. So what you're going to do, we're going to use the tra uh, Texture Chic Specialty Paper. So this is in the annual catalog, and it has all this glimmery, pretty stuff in it. This one was made from, from this set of paper, and it was this paper right here. So the front and back. So the front is what is on the front. On the front of the card and the back is on the next panel so that's what I used tonight we're going to use this combo here so I know several of you absolutely love this paper and so you're going to be doing a happy dance that I'm using it here are the coordinating colors now obviously you can add other colors in as well but these are the coordinating colors. And because I'm using this um, sheet right here, I am zeroing in on the petal pink and the soft suede for my inks. But I'm not doing a whole lot of stamping. So first off, let me just bring in the, the card base. So the card base is four and a quarter by 11. So it's half a, a sheet of cardstock, right? So when I've, I've been mass producing these, so I leave them together and score everything and then cut. And then I have two cards ready already. So then um, you are going to score it at two and a half, three and three quarters, six and three quarters, and eight and a quarter. Now this will all be in Thursday's newsletter, but if you're wanting to make it tonight, you can take a screenshot or something like that, or afterwards when you re-watch this, you could pause the video here and um, just get those measurements. So let's move that out of the way. So what that means is that one end is slightly bigger than the other. So let me bring my ruler in to show you. So this end is two and three quarters to, to the fold, and this end is two and a half. So I like to start at the th two and three quarters because that gets me started in the right direction. I'm going to fold it up just as if it was going to be a card. I'm going to bring in my bone folder and go like that. Now, it's an accordion fold, so we went up on that one. The next fold is going to go back. So just line up your edges. And then the next one is going to go up. Again, like, guide your edges so that they get in the right position. And I'm using thick basic white, so it's nice and sturdy. You could use colored stock, cardstock, and then bring this back. So that's just my own idiosyncrasy it helps me get it all straight so now we've got it looking like that so you, you've got your basic shape of your card right here so we're going to put that to the side and prepare our panels that are going to fit in there so what i have is i have two pieces of that gorgeous um designer paper the tr uh, texture Oh, no, I've forgotten. Texture chic, uh, chic Specialty. So these are cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters. They're squares. So I'm going to use the front and then the back. So that that's what we're using there. And so we've got that. And then I have uh, Petal Pink, and this is four by four. So it's just a quarter of an inch smaller. Or smaller, bigger. There we go. So there, we've got that. Because I'm not wrapping ribbon around or anything, you could. I'm choosing not to. I am just going to attach that designer paper to the cardstock. And we'll get that set to go. 
Alrighty, so we've got this one. And there isn't an up or down particularly with this, so I can, I don't have to worry if I've got things upside down or not. So there, we've got it like that. Now, if you like the smaller edges, you could always do that as well. So what we're going to do is eventually we're going to fasten these in here and you can see where we're going. But we want to do our stamping and some of that thing uh, ahead of time. So we're going to bring in, we're going to bring in the, this die that cuts these two out right here. Now remember, if you buy this bundle from me, actually by tomorrow, you will get this package of seven card fronts and envelopes free in addition. So there's a little, uh, little incentive, I guess you could say. So we're going to, look at all the dies here. We're going to bring this one out just to show you that that's what we used. And when I ran it through the die cutting machine on my gold foil, it went like this. I wanted the gold, but I did not want the gold oval right now, but I did want these other shapes. So I everything just fit right in. It was perfect. And so I did not waste any of that great gold paper. So I love how when that works. So this one went right here and this one went right there. And I used pretty much all of that paper. So I just wanted to show you how well that worked out. And move this to the side here. So we've got a gold foil. And then we ran that through again and got a white oval as well. And then we have some different shapes of leaves and stuff that we're going to play with. So let's see. My plan was to use this on the outside and put my oval here and go like that and start to build it out. So I want my words on this oval here. And I'm going to do my words in soft suede. That's a stronger color. And so it should just pop. I'm going to move that before I put it in the ink pad. Uh, it should just kind of pop then. So I'm just bringing in a bit of foam because these uh, stamps are photopolymer so a little extra cushion works beautifully and I need a thank you card. So here we go. Thank you. Just like that. It's there. We've got that there. Then I chose another word set from there and it's so lucky to call you a friend. And I'm going to put that on the inside. So we'll bring this back in and we're going to ink that up while we've got the ink out. And we'll put, whoops, let's make sure we've got some ink on there. There we go. And I've got everything kind of crooked here. I find it's easier to stamp straight if I have everything else straight, but sometimes I'm not that successful at getting everything straight. I get in too big a hurry. There we go. So now we're going to put some little leaves just to decorate the inside. And I've got stuff flying. So we'll bring in the petal pink and the petal pink leaves. And I'm going to stamp off once. And then I think I'm going to put them just like that. And that just adds that now on the envelope, I could add the leaves as well. But then I've got my stamping done and it's just basically assembling the card. That's how easy it is. Now you can make it as complicated as you want or as easy as you want. So let's bring this back in. So we're thinking that we want this right here and I'm just going to actually glue it right down. Woo, that glue was ready to go. Good thing I had a big surface there. So let's, I'm using my grid, like I use grid paper all the time. Um, and I'm using the grid mat right now, just because it helps me, my brain see straight a little bit better. So now I'm going to just put some dots along here, just a little tiny bit 
we don't want it to go over. You could use glue dots if you're a little shy about liquid glue. And we're going to go right. This is just going to frame this oval perfectly, just like that. Now, I could have put the words on dimensionals, but I've, I'm planning to put some other things on here. Plus, this card with the fold is fairly bulky, so I thought that I didn't want to add any more bulk to that. So now I'm going to bring in some of my die cuts that I cut ahead of time just to make things a little bit simpler. And didn't get all the little pieces poked out though. So we'll just do that. I sure love that our dies, the pieces do come out so much more easily than they used to come out. That's for sure. Oh, I'm going to use that there. I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to use the petal pink here. And I'm going to just maybe go like that. I'm just laying them on right now, trying to see what my plan should be. Let me see. I think if the gold came off like that. And do I want to put, to bring that in? Or do I want to bring some soft succulent in? I think I kind of like the soft suede. It goes with the um, with the, the ink, so it ties that together. So I'm just going to stick that down. And what I'm going to do is bring in my glue dots and roll them into a little roll so that they're not circular anymore. Well, maybe I am. There we go. And I'm going to put it oh, right about here. And I think I'll add one more because this one is longer. Sometimes I just use one. So again, just make it a little roll. There. So this, I want to make sure I'm not covering up my words. If I went like that, ooh, I could almost do that. I kind of like that. There, I think I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to bring in the gold one and I am going to put a ribbon on top so I'm not too worried if some of the adhesive sticks is showing. So I just put my adhesive on the thicker part there and there we go like that. And then we've got this one, same thing. And I've got it looking like that. Looks good. So now we need to finish it off. We could, we have a couple of choices here. We could use the gold cord like that. We could use the white seam binding, which is when in doubt, it's, it's sort of my go-to ribbon. Let me, I've tied some ahead of time. So let me just show you here. So we could go with the white, so gold or white. Or what I did here is I took my uh, petal pink, my dark petal pink blends and just colored some of this. So I just ran the tip over here and made some petal pink ribbon. So gold, white, or petal pink ribbon. Which one should it be? Which one should we do to put on here? Gold, white, petal pink. Gold, white, petal pink. Petal pink is the first one I saw. Okay, we'll put the others to the side. And we'll bring in, I see a, when I ripped this off, I still had a glue dot on there. So I'm going to pick it up. There we go. Just like that. And since I still have some of those gems that are out sold out, we might as well use them, right? So if you don't have these and you're wanting to recreate this card, we have other gold embellishments as well, or you could choose something altogether different. So we'll put one here. I do love these embellishments. I'm hoping they sometime 
bring some more back. Something the same. Better put the lid on my glue. Well, I'm going to need it in a minute. There we go. So now we have our pieces all made and we can just assemble our card. So let's bring this in and let me give you a little bit of hint or this is this way I did it. You might find you have, oh, I forgot one thing. I'll do that later. So this piece is going to go on the middle fold and what I found easiest is if I folded this down and then I looked at the fold and what I, my plan is to glue it down so that there is a border that's an equal border around all sides, but I only want to put the glue here, right? So for me, it was easier just to put my glue not going to the edge because I know that I'm going to leave a border, but put my glue where I want this to be stuck down. And then I can wiggle it into place. Just like that. And then it has that equal frame all the way around. You can see that. And now what I, I'm just going to use this to decorate this side here. This is going to show, so I'm going to keep my decoration here. I could have put um, some words there too. Um, so whatever it is that you would like, or you could leave it blank because it's such pretty paper that you don't, you don't have to really um, worry too much about it. So just put a bit of glue here, there, and everywhere, just tiny dots. But this just kind of brings that gold right to the next layer there. And now, now I'm going to close this up. And with this one, it's going to have, you're going to line it up here and here. And again, have equal border here. So it actually works beautifully. So just don't put your glue to the edges. And we'll put that down. And just like that, we have our finished card. So when it comes out of the envelope, it's going to look like that. And then it will stand up like that. Isn't it neat? I find I just keep pulling it forward and backward all the time. So there is the card we made tonight. And um, here is card using the same designer paper, different sheets, so a totally different color scheme, but again, the same design. You don't have to stick with that design. You, the fold is multi-purpose. So I brought in um, the Santa Express paper. There's lots of, um, it's lots of fun, this paper here, and did this one. So I, I did stick with the ovals. I'm just hooked on the ovals right now. So I used the um, framed and festive stamp set here and a bit of ribbon coming out the sides and just like that. And then I, I put words on the inside. So again, it just stands up like that. Isn't it fun? I just love it. Uh, Diana, wow card. Yeah. Yes, um, that's what I thought, and I'm so glad you think so too. So that is our card tonight, and that came together so quickly, but I do have a few other things to show you. So let's do a little show and tell here. I wanted to, to share a card. So this was part of my card buffet. It was also part of a... a class I did at Diana's a workshop. So it uses the snowman magical uh, snowman snowman magic bundle. So it is really fun because it has this great frame and it has these great trees and that kind of thing. So I wanted to show a couple other things I've done with those dies. So here I used the dies. I just did a little bit of a sponging, more intense at the bottom and some spattering, and then just put three of the trees on it. 
like that. So that's the same bundle, same dies, totally different look. Then I love this frame with the snowflakes. So I took the hope and peace, not hope and peace, um, da -da 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 uh, peace to you, peace to you stamp set and put it behind those snowflakes and then it ended up like that. So start to play around with your dies and stamps and you might just come up with a totally different look. It just is so much fun. Then I went to the mailbox a couple of days ago and this card was in my mailbox and I just love it. It's from my friend, Carolyn Hartwig. Um, she's also a member of my team. And this was to uh, celebrate me reaching uh, 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I just love this card. She said it took two or three of them to figure out how to get the scale right and stuff. But isn't that neat? So I, I just love that. So thank you so much, Carolyn. And um, a couple of other things here. I received this card here. I just, I love this. And this one was from Marilyn. Uh, and it is so pretty. And again, some more specialty paper. And then I received this one from Valerie. Yeah. Uh, a thank you card. And it, again, it is a fun fold. So um, basically, she's used uh, four, four, uh, four inch by 12 inch piece of designer paper. I folded it at five and a half and then folded this part back and sent me this gorgeous card. Now we made the same design at Stampin' Time, our stamp club, and we made it with vellum. So uh, there it is right there. So that's the same design card, totally different look, but the fold is the same. And last but not least, when we were at On Stage, which was our convention, um, we got to play with a new kit that's just been released. And I've totally forgotten the name of the kit right now, so maybe somebody can help me out here. But um, so the kit makes, has these really cute envelopes, and it makes two cards, and it has four different types of greetings plus the stamp to do the world and that kind of thing. So um, just a super, super kit would work for the guys or the girls in your life. It has some shimmer, some of that uh, foil paper. It has embellishments. So this is one of the all-inclusive kits that you might find wonderful for gift giving to yourself or to somebody else. Remember our kits, whether it's paper, pumpkin, or the kits especially the all-inclusive. They're great for adults and kids in your life and even to gift them with an afternoon of crafting and just pull out the kit. You don't have to do any prep work. Everything is there. So I, I think that's something to think about. Do remember, if you are ordering from Stamping Up, uh, you want to get your order in sooner rather than later because um, it has to be shipped and it's becoming the busy time of year for shipping. So uh, get, get it in. I would say December by December 5th. They might say December 12th, but then it's starting to be iffy. So get your order in right away and uh, take advantage of that. Also do let me know if you want either, want, these catalogs will come together. So if you want these new catalogs that are coming out, please let me know before uh, or by next week, so by the 28th, because I have to get them ordered by the end of the month. So by the 28th, let me know that. And if you do make this great, great fun fold card, I would love if you would share it with us because I it can be made with so many different things in our crafting supplies. So maybe go out and get started right now. And if you're waiting for the supplies and measurements for this card, you can uh, look forward to Thursday's newsletter. It'll all be in there. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.